everyone, and welcome back to episode seven of Team Yap, the Pokemon podcast. I am your co-host, Emily. And I'm your co-host, Chris. And we're back at it. Um, I think I'm going to call this episode a regular Yap Shet. Oh my God, I already messed it up. A regular Yap Sesh. You know, Chris and I were just talking about what we wanted to talk about for this episode, and I said Mega Ray Crick. I'm, I'm, it's already happening again. You mess up once, and then you just, it, it's like tumbling it's just, down a hill. It's in the forefront of the brain, and you yeah. can't stop. It snowballs. Mega Rayquaza Wade Day is what I said. <laughs> I, I actually thought you just messed Did up. Did it there. again? No. That one was on purpose. I tried really hard. Um, but, anyways, we're here. A regular yap sesh. And um, this one should go out pretty quick. I'm going to edit this as soon as we're done. And so I'm excited to actually like have some um, hot topic kind of um, stuff that we're talking about today that will actually be relevant if you watch the podcast in the next couple of days. So For sure. And if only it could be as informative or on top of things as it could have been if I hadn't... Uh Yep, Chris had a little had incident. A little bit more. Chris had a little incident. Um, so this podcast is being recorded on Thursday as opposed to the Tuesday that it was meant to be. And that is because uh, I, I fully take accountability for this one. Um, I was scrolling on Twitter that morning and looked and just glanced and happened to see something about a Pokemon Presents on August 8th. And I was like, cool, super swept up in the hype, ready to go. I'm going to pitch this to Emily. We're going to start, we're going to do the podcast uh, later on Thursday today so that we can catch the presents early in the morning and then get our thoughts all processed. And turns out I was tricked by <laughs> a year old tweet because I just didn't read. Well, clearly many other people were too. A few others were as well. Like I, I first saw it, um, because when I had actually initially looked it up after I found out that the information I got was incorrect, um, I had just looked up Pokemon Presents on Twitter and immediately it was somebody quote tweeting the old one saying like, I'm surprised I've seen at least like half a dozen people talking about uh, a new Presents. Like this is a year old tweet, y'all. Um, and I only found out because I got a notification from Twitter uh, on a different account that I follow. They were saying something like... Um, what if there is no Pokemon Presents this month and we won't get any new info until next year on the new game? And uh, I was like, wait a minute, but there is a Pokemon Presents this month. They literally just announced it. And then I went and took a look back. And that is when I saw the three at the end of the year. Well, you know what's so funny is, so you had pitched that to me and changing it from Tuesday to Thursday. And I was fine with it. Like, I was like, okay, it can fit in my schedule. Let's do a Thursday. Our um, production managers actually suggested, oh, it would be cool if you, like, um, reacted to it, like, in real time. And if we had done that, I would have had to got my ass to work at um, 9 in the morning. Would have had to be an earlier, even. Even earlier, yeah, like 8.30. Get all and, set up for it. Um, that's true. And I had already made the executive decision that, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> so we scheduled it for this afternoon. And um, when we were talking about um, rescheduling it, like with the managers, I um, co-directors, whatever their title is, um, I looked it up because I'm like, oh, what time is it? Like, what's the information? Nothing came up. And because, you know, like when something is going to like when, when a thing is the thing, mm -hmm. there's lots of like news articles from like leak duck or like game yeah, rant like or whatever time, what exact time will this be and usually it's like two hours ago a day ago three days ago like i wasn't seeing any of that and so i'm just like you know what maybe i'm like looking the wrong thing up like chris what time is it at and so um that should have been my kind of red flag about that but you know it is what it is we're here we made it work there's no Pokemon Presents to talk about. It's all good. We thrive. We still got plenty we to yap about. We still have plenty to yap about. So I, um, we forgive you, Chris. Um, and by we, I mean me. <laughs> I sincerely apologize for my serious lapse in judgment. Um, I was actually excited, too. I was like, oh, some more ZA news, because I'm all excited about that. Because um, I haven't really been able to play Arceus lately, because 
I've been house sitting. Yep. And the place that I'm house sitting at, similarly to the place I house sat for about a month ago, they don't have an ideal television for me to play on. And I've said this a million times before, but I just can't play. You, I mean, people do it. I find Legends Arceus unplayable on the Switch screen. Mm-hmm. It's just so small. Yeah, it's, it's kind of, ideal. it's such an immersive experience that it's like, put it on the big screen. I need it. I need it close to me. Like the one that we're having, the one, the place that we're staying at right now has a big enough TV, but it's like mounted on the wall, like way across the room. And oh, so it's so like, like the, the equivalent of still not being able to see. <laughs> yeah. So I've been, um, I've been mourning the loss of not being able to play Arceus, but I actually stayed at my apartment one night because I, um, we're not only house sitting, but we're dog sitting and that's been a bit of a nightmare. And I was like, I need a break. Um, so my partner stayed with the dog at the house and I went to the apartment and, um, enjoyed the night to myself and, um, booted up Legends Arceus. It's like, you know what? I'm just gonna play a little bit. Cause I was watching the Olympics. I was like, um, wanted a break from that. And, um, so I, how many hours later did you realize? <laughs> actually, I was, so I, I got something that I've been wanting for a long time. So I was like, this is it. I said, I'll get much better than that. And it was about an hour, like maybe an 30 minutes into playing. Oh, hell yeah. Um, cause as we've discussed in previous episodes, I've been really into, um, trying to perfect the decks and focusing on, um, like um, Shield On and Cranidos and the Coronet Highlands. And so the last time I played the game, I had saved in the Coronet Highlands, and I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just going like, to back out and restart an er- the area. And when I backed out and restarted, I'm like, you know, I'm kind of tired. Like, let me just do this massive mass outbreak um, in the Obsidian Fieldlands. And so whenever I do these Obsidian Fieldlands, I make sure to fly over specific... Um, alphas the static alphas in the obsidian field lands mm-hmm. because a lot of them i've perfected and like Cut in, check just to be sure in hopes of getting a shiny and one of the ones that i've been wanting for a really long time which is not the one that i got by the way is a, a shiny alpha hair across um Damn. really really like that one i um check every single time mm-hmm. without fail i that i'm on the map um but um The other two that I always check because they're, um, or the other three that I check because I've I've perfected the deck entries, and I would just love to have alphas of them, shiny alphas rather, Uh, Snorlax, Infernape, and Lop Bunny. And um, nice picks, very nice. Yes, and they're easy to like. You know, you fly by the Snorlax over the Infernape over the Lop Bunny. Super easy to do. Um, Unlike like the Gyarados, you have to go up the mountain and into the water, or like the Blissey, you have to go up the mountain. And pretty easy route too, because it would just be like you cut from the beginning camp off to like the right. You hit the Snorlax, you hit the Infernape, and the Lop Bunny. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm just going to make sure I fly over this Infernape. And it sparkled. Let's go. And was a different color. And so I, um, I lost my mind a little bit. I was very excited about very that. Very fair. Um, because, um, Infernape actually, well, Chimchar was my first starter Pokemon, um, ever. Because I started with Pokemon Pearl. Mm-hmm. Picked Chimchar. Um, and so Infernape was a big part of that game for me. And then of course I like regressed and then bought Leaf Green and Sapphire and, um, then kept going in the series, but Chimchar, Infernape, Monferno, they'll always have a special place in my heart because of, they're the OGs. Actually, it's funny. I named it, um, Chim, very, very original and, and thoughtful there, Emily. Um, but yeah, so I was super excited about that. And I'm like, yep, time to turn the console off. I am, I am done. That's, that's about as good as it's going to get for me. I so mean, hey, that's a f- very fair marker to, uh, practice some restraint. This is true. This is true. I did end up staying up like way too late that night because I was just so happy to be in my apartment. <laughs> I can understand that. Um, but my eyes were tired and I'm like, I can't, I can't look at this anymore. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my only Arceus news. I am looking forward to actually going on vacation this next week and I will bring my switch, probably won't play it. Um, but then when I get back, I'm really going to have like a, 
Arceus kick because I am um, fiending for it. Anyways, um, that's all for Arceus. Have you been playing any mainline games recently? Not really. I don't know. I've been I've fallen off of them for so, so long now. I've been meaning to. I want to, like, start loading some up and replaying some of them and maybe, like, talking about, you know, what I maybe, like, running some challenge runs. Mm, that would be fun. About them on here. That'd be cool. Um, do you have ideas on, like, what kind of a challenge run you want to do or just, like, um, figure that out as you go? Uh, probably, like, bog standard Nuzlocke affair or um, type restricted challenges, stuff like that, where, like, I'm locked into using only, like, three oh, that different would be types fun. of Pokemon. Yeah. I've had a lot of fun with that in the past where, like, I did one based on I used to be in a Facebook group for Pokemon just like I mean I've been in Facebook groups for Pokemon like anything but one in particular that had like a clan wars kind of thing mm -hmm. but it was all the evil teams um, okay and so I was in team aqua and so I did an aqua lock which was basically a nuzlocke but I'm only allowed to use Pokemon of the types attributed to our team in that Facebook group um, and I think it was like water dark and poison that's super cool yeah I, mean, I guarantee those kinds of Facebook groups still exist because oh, I'm sure. over here like, okay, I want to join one of those. That sounds fun. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that is super fun. Like, I, I love the, not the heavy restriction um, types of challenges that are, like, super, super hard and, like, the, those are totally for some people and more power to you. Yep. I, I don't, I don't want to nerf myself that hard. Sure. Um, but I still have fun with, like, the, I'll lock myself to the specific types of Pokemon. Um, it really just ends up me being, <laughs> me being able to use some more kind of all out there Pokemon that I wouldn't use otherwise, yep. but uh, also still just simping over my favorite types. You know, I think I would like doing that because I, I have a problem with like sentimentality and like, okay, I've caught you early on in my run. I would feel bad if I took you out of my team. Like I was having issues with that. I have issues with that with all of my games, but mm. um, with Arceus, it's like, okay, like, even now, it's like I want to take as many um, Pokemon out of my team to replace it with ones that I need to, like, perfect the dex, dex entries for. Mm -hmm. And I still have a hard time with, like, okay, well, I'm, I need to get, I need to take somebody out. But I've kind of gotten over that. And the only Pokemon that I keep um, on my roster at all times is Arceus because um, you can change him into any type. Um and he's also at this point level 100. And so, like, if you run into, um, like, any of the, um, what do they call them? The bandit sisters or whatever? The um, charm coin and yeah, when I don't know the when other you're one's just name. just running around the map and yeah. just kind of ambush you. You don't want to get stuck with, like, all level 20 Pokemon in your party when they have, like, a level, yeah. like, 60-something. So, I mean, um, Arceus, super cool uh, with the new plate that they gave him in this game. Which, um... The, the, the one that lets him change, uh, or that, like, I, I think it changes his type as he uses Judgment to be super effective. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, there's one, there's another one, a legend plate or something. Really? Yeah. Okay, taking notes. Apologies if I've spoiled something, I don't think it's... No, I've completely finished the game, I just, yeah. like, probably haven't seen that I've... Interesting. ...can do that. Yes, there's a, there's another plate. Um, are, I don't think held items are a thing in Legends Arceus, are they? Um, I don't believe so. Okay, so it's yeah, 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 because you activate the plates on Arceus in this game. So yeah, I think it's one of those you activate on Arceus, and then whenever it uses Judgment, it will change its type. Interesting. Of to be super effective, yeah. That's good to know. Sorry, I'm, like, looking that up because no, I good. just have not used that before. Um, I don't think it works defensively. So, like, getting hit by an attack, you'll stay at normal type. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. Well. Um, Something new every day. You sure do. <laughs> um, what else? So. Um, oh, so haven't been playing much mainline, but I did at least recently play a little bit of Pokemon Unite with some buddies. Nice. And that had been the first time in months i have no idea i mean i've logged mm -hmm. into the game on occasion just to like log in grab some whatever that they're gonna throw me but uh currently they're having their third anniversary uh and so i was reached out to by some friends just for the hell of it one night to run a few games and uh, it was quite fun haven't haven't played in some time but even 
even the horrible, horrible losses that we suffered, we still had a good time. Now, this is like the League of Legends Pokemon game, yes, right? Yes, this is the MOBA. Nice. Um, which, quite fun, has changed a lot since I used to play. Like um, the meta, or...? I have no idea in terms of the meta, how it actually, like, looks or functions yep. now. But in terms of, like, there's new maps, and it seems like... The new map, which I was around when they introduced it, uh, Thea Sky Ruins, mm -hmm. um, has seemed to become the new like current favorite because the entire time my friends were saying, like, what are we doing on this map? Get it, get us loaded into the next one, the other one. Um, so maybe it's either just popular amongst my friends or yep. just in general seems to be regarded as the better map. I have no idea. I haven't played in years. <laughs> um, well, exaggerating, it's only been around for three years, but sure. you know what I mean. Um, and they've added a ton of Pokemon since, like, they, uh, was it mo most recently Ho-Oh, which is insane, because uh -huh. uh, it's a, added in as a support Pokemon that can revive people. Damn. Yeah. Um, let's see, Serilege was added in, Phalanx was added in, Phalanx and Mimikyu were added in, and I bought both of them, uh, the, like, one of those each errant times that I just happened to hop on for, just for kicks to How play How much around money? Stuff. No money. I've spent no money. Uh, so, like, you can earn coins kind of yes. like Pokemon Go? Yes, you can earn coins and buy characters. Um, at least at the time when I got Mimikyu and Phalanx, they were, like, buyable with coins. They tend to like to do this thing that they'll release a character, and then they will be available via some form of event or thing that you have to, like, uh -huh. play the game and earn. Um, or in the past, and I don't know if they still do this currently, so, you know. Yep. But... Uh, in the past, they were doing a thing where it comes out for the first week. It's only available via the paid gems, mm -hmm. and then it's available with coins and all that. I see. Um, I don't know if they still do that. I hope they don't still do that. They probably do. And they probably do. But um, at least when it comes to the ones that have these events available to them where it's like you just complete missions. Yep. Or with the Ho-Oh, -Oh, it it's a dice board kind of thing where you roll a die, you move a certain amount of tiles, and you have to complete the missions on that tile. Oh, that's move. cool. Yep. Um... Now, is there a chat feature on this game? There is. I don't know if there is, like, a voice chat available. But, like, text chat? Yeah, there is, like, a text chat that you can use in the game. See, I get so scared because it's, like, the reason... Well, there's many reasons why I don't play League of Legends anymore. But one of the main ones is, like... And I know you can turn chat off, but I don't like getting flamed. <laughs> no, absolutely. Um, I'm just here to play a game, you know? Right. And it's just like, like, don't come for me, like, for being bad. Like, chill out. Like, clearly you're bad, too, because you're in whatever queue I'm in. Like, <laughs> See, That's why I, I, like, hardly ever play competitive yeah. games or ranked. Yeah. It's just, I... I Personally, not a fan of the scene. So they have that for Pokemon Unite, too, like ranked versus yeah, ranked. normals or whatever they call it on that game. Um, and I know for sure my friends would have been putting us in ranked, but you literally cannot play with people that are too high rank above you. Oh, wow. Uh, and you cannot play ranked if you are in a group of four. Interesting. Now, how many like, total? It's four. It's five. Oh, it's five. Yeah. Okay. Five V five? So, yes. So you can have a whole, like five stack of you and four friends but you but can't you do can't, four you can't do four you can't play four weird you can't play a four stack in uh ranked interesting but you can do five stacked in ranked yes you, you i can, guess i don't really understand that logic you duo you can trio you cannot do four you can do five because it's like okay here's four people talking to each other and the one person's left out but it's also like and like they'll figure it out <laughs> like yeah versus I, I five know. people it's like they're all talking together okay this is like a coordinated effort to like win the game like yeah i don't know i i That's see the thing. It, it's like also. i also i also get it because i do feel sure. i feel bad for the solo queue players that end up in a four stack and then it's like they could be playing just fine but the four stack is doing what they want to do yeah. around them and so i feel like the same would be said for a, tr a trio like if you um but at get least in then the it's like you have the Yes, uh, totally, like, a trio and, th uh, like, just two randoms. Yeah. Um, in the specific case of a trio and a duo, I wouldn't feel as... No, that's not as bad. I guess I just, like, I don't know how the, um, like, what the macro and of the game, like, is. Like, I don't actually know what, like, like what objectives you're going towards right. and um, stuff, like... Basically, it's, like, through, I think it's... 
geez, I forget how, I think a match is 10 minutes total. Yep. Um, basically, it's like early game. You're running, trying to just make it to like the midway point-ish of the map in each of your lanes. Um, there's a top lane, bottom lane, and a mid lane. There's nothing you're protecting in the mid lane, but that is where a good chunk of farm is going to be and like special buffs that the jungler is usually going to get. Mm -hmm. Jungler, that's who's going to go through the center, grab all the so farm. this is literally Pokemon League of Legends. This is literally Pokemon League of Legends. That's so funny. Um, you know, jungler's going to go in the center, grab all the farm, and shift to support whichever lane needs okay. it. Um, you'll have your occasional mini bosses that spawn at the top and bottom which will give different buffs or effects. Like you can go at the top, there's a, a spawn that when you beat it, it will move towards your enemy's goals and make it so that you get an instant score when you reach their side. So it's like, is it like soccer? Like, what is it? Kind of. It's like you have goals on each side you're trying to reach and down each of your lanes, you have like your center goal, which is just, it's constantly there. Um, you have on each lane, two midway goals. So your top and bottom lane. And then you have your first goal. That first goal is what the enemy is going to be attacking first and dropping their score into. You get score by killing the, the farm and even taking out opponents. Uh, well, taking out opponents if you take their score, if they have score on them. Uh -huh. If you take out somebody with no score on them, no score. But So you'll take points from taking out wild Pokemon in the field and you'll bring those over to their goals, and it normally takes a few seconds. To what are, like, the wild Pokemon? A goal. Um, it depends on the map. Uh -huh. So... Thea Sky Ruins, the one we played on the most, you'll get wild. There's Ndidi, which are like the kind yep. of like the Audino equivalent, which they'll end up being like the somewhat less spawned spawns, but they give more experience. Uh -huh. um, there are there's a group of Swablu with an Altaria in the center that can spawn and they can spawn in the center or in like between the top and bottom lanes in the center of there. That's kind of like the highly contested farm when those spawn in. Yep. Um, it's kind of just stuff like that and then you'll get stuff like the mini bosses will be so on Thea Sky Ruins the different Regis so ah, it's like cool. Reggie, Alecki, Drago Steel, Rock, Ice um, and then at the very very end you have your last two minutes left you'll get a boss spawn in the center of the map and that's Rayquaza um, defeating Rayquaza gives you a shield a barrier for when you uh, go to score on the enemy goal and also in the last two minutes score is doubled Interesting. Okay. So. Shit, I just had a question and now I'm forgetting so what it was. Sorry. That was um, no, I, it's interesting to me because it's very like I mean it is very similar to League of Legends mm -hmm. because it's a MOBA or whatever. Um, but um, I'm trying to think of what I was gonna say. Um, our. I don't remember what I was going to say, but it sounds interesting. Oh, is it a com it's a computer game, right? Like you play it on the PC? Um, I don't think it's on PC. Uh, <laughs> um, so anyways, is it a computer game? Uh, I don't think it's on PC. It is on mobile. It's on Nintendo Switch. Which is what I mean. I play it on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was so funny. For for because you're um, because you are listening and don't have a visual, you can't see like us getting complete. No, I'm not going to cut it. I think it's hilarious. Um, we're in the middle of a. Um, for those that don't know, like we're at a public access TV uh, studio and yeah. like that's where we <laughs> film our film our podcast. And um, sometimes people just walk in and it seems like somebody just walked in um, expecting that he had a show. Um, he looked like he was part of um, the group that comes in and actually does a podcast. Yep. Um, which I just looked on the calendar. And it's not there, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, poor. Oh, lovely scheduling. Uh, you know. And its complexities. We'll, um, we'll ask our boss about that later and see what, <laughs> see what happened with out. that. I guess I'm very curious. Um, the show must go on. The show has to go on, and, you know, technical difficulties are a part of it and make me laugh, so <laughs> um, that's the only way that you can... Um, survive around here sometimes so um anyways sounds really fun and you're saying it's the third anniversary of the game it's the third anniversary yep 
crazy. I remember that being announced and it does not seem like three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was three, three years ago. I, I was, was super pumped for the game and then did actually spend like what, 30 bucks. I put into it day one or week one, whatever. Uh-huh. Cause I bought Gengar, um, when he was broken and pay to win. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Which, to be but fair, with coins, not with money. You haven't spent well, any no, money on the game. I, I did actively buy it. Yes, I spent, I spent thirty dollars week one. That's it. I see. Okay, that is it. Yeah, you had you the pay to win stuff. That was like you had to pay maybe like two hundred dollars or so at the time to two hundred dollars. Roughly back then when you were so back at the very very beginning when you could just like speed run, uh, pay to upgrade your items all the way. Uh, to the max level at the time, get Gengar, get your account level up so you can hold three items uh, on your Pokemon. And because I don't, I don't think you could pay to increase that at least. So uh-huh. at that time, like, um, but anyway, what people would do then was Gengar was stupid busted. You just max out those like three specific items. I forget what they were yep. at the time, but it was the set and like, I mean, you can go on to YouTube from however long ago. Uh, Moist Critical, he did a video on it uh-huh. at the very, very beginning, and he went on a nutty kill streak as Gengar. Like, it was ridiculous. Like, numbers you would not see today in Unite, I don't think. Because they've done some balancing. Because they've done some balancing since then. And so, like, I can't say for certain whether or not, like, how things are now. But as far as I know, it, like, things aren't nearly as pay-to-win as or yeah. at all pay-to-win as they were then and all that. But yeah, so I did at the beginning um, pay $30 in to buy Gengar just because I really wanted Gengar. Um, and that's it. And I have not spent any more money well, in this game. Well, good for you. I mean, I'm like, I'm like $200, bro. I've spent like thousands of dollars on Pokemon Go. So I, <laughs> I am not one to talk. <laughs> um, well, cool. I am like kind of inspired to try playing this game but it's i fun. i also like don't need a new game to play so that's fair at least this one isn't gonna have like objectives and stuff to take you on a ride forever like sure. rcs this one is just like pick it up when you want to pick it up and play i mean you'll have like leveling up to do if you want to have Ooh. your items and everything all set to go but yep cool well speaking of pokemon go we have some pokemon go updates to talk about Ooh. as well um, Plenty has happened since. Yeah, last lots. Time. We, lots have happened actually. So um, let's. We won't jump into the Go Fest yet. We'll finish our Pokemon Go talking about um, the Global Go Fest um, because the last time that we spoke to you, um, Go Fest hadn't happened yet. Well, Global Go Fest hadn't happened yet, and so right. we we talked a little bit about what we were excited for, what we were looking forward to, all that stuff. I mean, excited and looking forward to or synonyms so you know <laughs> anyways um so what do we got going on here um mega i was able to do mega Requ- mega rayquaza raid day number two um chris i don't think you were able to do that i mostly missed out on that one i did get one raid in when i got invited to a remote but that was about it yeah that was all i had time for i um we went out with one of our buddy or I went out with one of our buddies and um we went downtown and um there happened to be like a festival going on um so the <laughs> the gym that we went to um was right by this guy this guy like busking and like doing kind of like a combination routine of like comedy and juggling and um uh, he was on like a unis- big unicycle and like the comedy aspect was like him telling kind of jokes and making like making observations about people and then asking for help from the audience and all this stuff. And so we're, we're trying to like do some Rayquaza raids. And meanwhile, this is how ha- like we get there right at the start. So he's like doing warm up beatboxing and then like all this other stuff. And then it like he gradually picks up his thing and more and more people are like coming around. And then all of a sudden we're like, <laughs> in a big crowd <laughs> and we're just trying to do some Ray Quasar raids and um, it actually worked Pokemon out. Go brings people together, man. Totally. It actually worked out great because, you know, we did the in-person raid right there at the gym 
And then we did a remote raid because um, we noticed a bunch of people joining at a gym somewhere that wasn't close enough for us to walk to in time because because it was just the two of us we really needed to rely on other people joining because it's a mega um uh, or it was elite elite raid um and um so our buddy only had enough coins to do the one and raid passes to do the one in person and the one remote and so then she was done but of course and i kept going and joining remote raids and and then um the timer reset and we were still there. So I did another one there Mm. and I feel like I've mentioned this and uh, well, in the background of all this happening, the guy's on a unicycle playing bagpipes and juggling knives, like all at once (laughs) just here, like tapping on my phone, like, please, please. Um, so I feel like I've mentioned this before, but one of the things that I've been really excited for and trying for for a really long time is a shiny Rayquaza. Mm. Love black shinies. I think they're just like, it is such a contrasting color to most of what the original colors are. Like if you think Charizard, it's like orange to black. If you think Rayquaza, it's green to black. Like sure. really like stunning contrast. And so... um. Aside from purple and pink shinies, the black ones are really cool to me. Um, And when I first, no, not when I first got back into the game, but when I first got really into raids, so about a year after I started playing the game again in 2023, um, when Rayquaza raids came into the game again, um, they hadn't uh, implemented remote raid um, pass or remote raid limits at that point, and they also hadn't raised the price. So I think I did like no. fifty raid quasar raids, like in the in a couple of days, and no shinies. I wanted one so bad, and so then the first mega elite mega raid day, whatever it's called, came and went, and um, you know Chris and I and our two friends did that too. Um, I didn't get a shiny. I don't think any of us got shinies. No. And then um, on this day, whatever day that was, I can't think of the date. <laughs> I finally got my shiny Rayquaza. And I'll tell you what, we did a, um, there was just a Lucario raid day. Yep. And I like went crazy on that too. I got like maybe five shinies. Every single shiny Lucario I got was two stars. It's okay. Mine was two. And I just, like, I couldn't, I I made myself feel better about it because the shiny Riolu I have is two stars, so I'm like, okay, they're matching. Um, There you go. Yeah, you know, whatever makes me feel better. But, so I was really, I'm like, please, I'm, like, praying, like, be three stars, be three stars, be three stars. And it was three stars, so very happy with that. Meg evolved it right away because I was like, I just need to see it floating around with me. Made it my buddy. Um, Awesome. And then, um... I decided, okay, no, I'll, you know what? I'll just do a couple more. And I did another one, and I just, like, decided to appraise it. Random hundo. And so I'm like, what? This is a crazy raid day. I never have this luck. So um, ended up with my shiny and a hundo. So now I have um, two to power up. And I have plenty of candy for it. But that was very exciting for me. I um, really... I have wasted a lot of money <laughs> trying to get my shiny, and I finally did. So, you know, a little anticlimactic, honestly. Like, I was like, okay, I got it. Now what? <laughs> well, the hunt is over. That's what. Yes. And, well, now now I need to, like, attach myself to a different Pokemon that I want. Um, anyways, Chris, what have you gotten recently in Pokemon Go that you are happy and excited about? What have I gotten recently in Pokemon Go? Well, during the... Global Fest itself, I didn't really get much. I really only got, um, I ended up with a shiny, it was funny, it was the first Moon Crown Pikachu that I had clicked on, ever, like at all for Uh that day, and it was a shiny Pikachu. So, I did get that. That was pretty much it for that for me. Um, let's see, uh... My big thing was mainly j- at least just getting some Ultra Beasts and making sure to get a Necrozma, which I did get, what, two Necrozma, I believe, overall? Uh, two total? 
I think so. I'm going to double check. But no, I got three overall. Okay. Right, because we did, um, we managed to do two when we were out and about with uh, our group there. Yep. And then I did one back home. So this one's gotcha. interesting. I, well, actually, I did get something kind of special out of it. I got this, the special background. Oh, yes. I got the special background for the Necrozma, and I think it was at least decent, too. Yep, that's exciting. Yeah, almost, almost four stars. Um, but honestly, the most exciting thing didn't come for me out of that raid, because that raid, I had to put out kind of a bit of a distress signal, be like, oh. hey, SOS, need help, because it had just spawned near my home. Yep. But it was just me there. Sure. So it's like I needed to go up and put out the call, like any any remotes. I think I probably sent you an invite. I don't know if you joined uh, that one. I don't think I did. Um, but I had a few other friends also jump in, and I think some local folks just so happened to walk by. I don't yep. know. I remember there was a good amount of people in there. We definitely had it. Um, we did it up, and then one of my friends texts me afterwards uh, freaking out because he had just managed to get his first shiny necrozma. That's awesome. Uh, and this this friend of mine, he's very fond of the color blue. Okay. Like, the, this is this man's, like, life branding. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I, I was very stoked for him when he sent that text. That was really That's cool. awesome. Um, other than that, let's see, I got... That shiny Lucario from that raid day. Um, <gasps> what? Uh, yap listeners, it's time for redemption. Chris finally did it. He found his own shiny manky. That I'm probably going to end up trading to Emily so that <laughs> she'll actually have one now because I have the shiny Annihilate. But I found one myself so I can... You can I rest can easy. Happy. I can rest easy. And then that very same day, because I was on my way into work. Yep. Uh, 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 of my, my first day with the new stuff. And then on my way out that very same day, I got a shiny Galarian Zigzagoon. See, you know what? That was a special day for you. It was a very special day. It was a good day. I was really happy to get that Zigzagoon. That's a like quite quite a nice shiny, at least in my opinion. I really love the red and just. It the, is a really good shiny. Well, I gotta tell you. Just like the bright blue tongue. I gotta tell you. Teal. I think I was talking about to you about this, probably yesterday. I get irrationally angry when I get a shiny that was a calm day shiny that I have a million of, and Galarian Zigzagoon is one of those. Got a community day. Oh, or well, I guess Zigzagoon. Like, let's gotten. see how long ago that was, because I have a lot of them i don't have any normal i actually don't have that many but i have enough um i don't have any normal shiny zigzag goons but i have several shiny that's funny um so wait was it a raid day was it a community day just for galarian zigzagoon yep huh yep it's interesting they, because like the double up lately yeah totally the first um uh community day i did was the um oh yeah double sand true day with both mm -hmm. Um, and of course they did the double slow poke and I'm sure they've done others. I can't think of right now, but, um, it's very odd that they just did the Gla Galarian. I think they might've just like released it or something. Ma um, yeah. Cause maybe it was, I, I don't know what this would have to do with it, but because Obstagoon, because it has a whole new evolution added on to yeah. it. So I, I have, that no might've been part of it. We're, we're speculating. We have no idea. Well, okay. <laughs> no, I could see that though, because it tend, they tend to do with community days, like evolve your blank into a blank yep. and to get a special move or whatever. Yes. So like they wouldn't be able to, it wouldn't translate right with just uh, Zigzagoon because. That's true. Cause there's only the, the two. One, the one goes up to Obstagoon. The other is to Lai Noon. So yep. Yep. unless they've been doing, well, cause they had, well, no, cause Claude Sire and Quagsire are both ground type. So they could, yeah, they could give them the same thing or whatever. Which did we, did I they? Know. I don't know. I think I'm I just like I fishing that. for whatever could be the reason. I have no idea. I'm just a I, you know, it's so fun to just, like, take this scrolly and, like, go down and, like, see some of the uh, shinies that I forgot I had. Like, <laughs> like looking at, like, oh, man, I just skipped past it. But, like, I have a shiny um, crabby that I forgot about. Like, just some, some cuties. But anyway, so I, um, for my glow, glow, global, go fest. <laughs> good job, Emily. <laughs> you did it. Um... I had a pretty good haul. I think I ended up with about 40. Damn. Um, let me count really 
really quick. Nine, 18. Um, I can't count. There's too many. <laughs> About 40, because I think I texted somebody and I was like, yeah, I got like 41. Um, I'd say I got some exciting ones. Like I hatched an Amoga, um, got two ducklets, three Corsolas, um, which I did. I was very excited about the first one. And then the second two, I was like, okay, so I'll keep these around in case somebody wants one. Um, Drive it. two shiny Pikachus with sun crowns really was trying for a shiny Pikachu with a moon crown. Thanks, Chris. Um, uh, ended up with like four shiny Amoras. I traded one away because I already had two. Um, and three Crub Brawlers. A um, couple of Sneasels. Uh, Hiswayan Sneasels. I already had two Hiswayan Sneasels from the Sinnoh um, tour, so I wasn't happy about that. Finally got my hands on a shiny Soul Rock. I did hatch a shiny Jang Moo. Which I have kept as a baby because of the heart on his head. Very cute. A um, couple of Carvanas. Evolved one into Sharpedo. Got a Golet. That was pretty cool. Finally got my first shiny Tyrant. And then for this adventure week, I'm so sorry, Chris. If you could see Chris's face, you'd like start crying because he's so sad. Um, <laughs> then I, for during adventure week, I hatched another one. So I evolved it into Tyrantrum. So now I have the two Amora and... Tyrant um, sets done. Um, but don't worry, Chris, I am still doing as many um, 7km eggs as I can <laughs> in super incubators, um, hoping for another one. Um, Thanks, totally not jealous at all. <clears throat> well, you know, I'm trying my best for you. Um, ended up with uh, three shiny Necrozmas, did fuse a Necrozma with Lunala? Lunala. Because my, stup my stupid ass thought that the adventure effect for the moon necrozma attracted tyrants, but they don't. They attract Amoras. doesn't matter now anyways, because I got what I wanted. Yeah. Um, but I'm hesitating to um, attach my Solgaleo to a necrozma because that was the one I got from the research. Well, actually, it's the only one I have, but that's the one that I got from the research, which has a really, really dope Ooh, background. That's so cool. It does combine with a necrozma with a special background, and I do have a shiny necrozma with a background. Does it make a special background? It makes a special background. Oh God, the what well, I I know, I know. But it's so cool on its own. It's so cool on its own. I'm like, I really don't want to do it i do have other cosmogs um so i may uh, do it eventually but it's like i don't need to use that adventure effect mm -hmm. like i have no reason to really use yeah, that it's just basically flips the day flips the day like if you if you do the lunala one at in the day you can evolve pokemon that evolve at night but and then it attracts night pokemon but it's like i don't really need yeah, that so. it is cool because it works it works as an incense but you can be stationary. Okay. You don't have to move around. It'll just automatically spawn them. But I'm not, I don't really need that. Yeah. So. I I would need that the like one errant time that I think, hey, I have a research that says evolve a Pokemon. Uh, and um, I'm scrolling through and I just happen to like click on my Tyrant. Oh, heck. Oh, wait. No, it's nighttime. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. But even then it's just like, man, I'll just wait. Yeah, no, absolutely. Till the morning. Like, I'll, like. just, I'll just flick over to something else, evolve that for the research. Like, yeah. And, and, and I'm done. Um, um, so, so yeah, I mean, I, I did like do like an incredibly stupid amount of Necrozma raids. Um, why? I don't really know to get more of the sun and moon energy, but I don't have enough Cosmogs and Solgaleos and Lunalas and whatever the middle evolution is to attack, like evolve well, them and attach them to Necrozmas. Well, I ended up, I got two, I got over 2000 energy for both. So I, um, and then, but one was because I had the research. I bought the oh, okay. research that awarded a thousand. Oh, okay. But then I still earned a thousand more for that one because I picked the sun one mm. to get the Solgaleo. And then I got, just did two, I got 2000 moon just from doing 
the uh, dusk necrozmas. Sick. So I sp- I spent probably like I don't know over a hundred dollars or something like that. I don't know. I don't I don't keep track for a reason. Strike that from the record. Yeah, let's let's pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I've gotten some cool shiny since then. It's so funny. I got a my auto catcher has caught caught me some like pretty crazy ones um, recently. Um, but also like one of those was a level one shiny Grimer, which I got a shiny Grimer with a party hat. And I'm like, okay, not evolving that one. I think it's cuter with as a Grimer mm-hmm. with the hat. So I evolved it into a muck, which stayed as a level one muck, which oh, I, yeah. I collect level one evolutions. Yep. And so to have a shiny level one evolved form of something was really cool to me. Then randomly my auto catcher catches me another shiny Grimer last night. And I'm like, what the hell is up with that? Like, these aren't even really, I don't even think those are featured. Like, they kind of are featured Pokemon for Adventure Week, but like, like they're not really. Yeah. Not boosted. Yeah. So it's just like, okay, I guess. Um, But I've hatched, I hatched a shiny shield on, which I didn't need because I, there was some shield on Craniados research day a couple years ago. Auto catcher caught me a shiny Aerodactyl. Hatched a shiny Tortuga, which is an amazing shiny, but shiny Caracosta, as we found out, is ugly. It looks exactly the same. Yeah, so if I get another lot. one, I probably wouldn't have evolved it. <laughs> Maybe just for the Pokedex, but it's like, I don't understand why they make the ones that it's like, just sad, don't especially change. especially the ones like later generations where you know somebody is coding that color and making that decision, other than it being like random um or like computer generated yeah i forget like, how they did it earlier on generation but it was not it wasn't hand picked by a fucking designer yeah, no. like so it's interesting but now now it's now it is very much that it's like yep. they are going out of their way to do this like stuff to the point that magirna i'm still unsure how that whole thing even works cuz magirna has a shiny but also has another form that looks just like it but a different color but I don't. Interesting. I'm, like, I'm, I'm very. I don't understand the shinies with Magirna or the different colorings of Magirna because there is like a Pokeball looking one and there. There is an Ultra Ball looking one. I don't. Understand. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, and then just in general, just shinies that really don't change. Gengar, I found out about uh, recently. That happened kind of in reverse. Oh. That was the original Gengar used to be. Because what is it? The shiny is like a really pretty muted color more yeah. so than anything. Gengar on his own used to be much more vibrant. Okay. And then as the generations went on, as his model changed, colors changed, and over time just became closer and closer to the shiny to the point that the shiny looks like hardly anything's different. Interesting. Apparently. Like I huh. heard about this like off of a I believe it. And then I was talking with a friend about it. So I believe it. Though I love Mega Gengar, Mega Shiny Gengar. Oh, yes, um, they, they hit those out. They, amazing. The Mega and the Gigantamax, they mm-hmm, perfect. Mm-hmm. Perfect for making, making them white. Get the, the, I love the, because I think it's the Gigantamax has the black eyes. Or is it the Mega that has black eyes? I don't know. The Mega has red eyes. I don't know. And I don't know much about Gigantamax or Dynamax because I, I, never, I never finished Sword and Shield. Right. And... Um, I picked it. We've talked about it. I picked it up a little bit more, but not like crazy. We are going to talk a little bit more about Dynamax and Gigantamax in a moment. I want to finish up my last two notes on the Go Fest, and then we'll move on to other Pokemon Go news. Um, so I played both days. Mm-hmm. Whenever there's an event like that, with ha- which has boosted shinies, especially it's something that I've paid for. I try to grind as much as I can yeah. because it's like, I want to get my money's worth. Every single fucking time there is a global go fest. I am either traveling or otherwise occupied. And, um, so this year also landed on a weekend where we were traveling and I actually was like, we're changing our plans <laughs> so I can so I can grind for the first four hours of, oh, yep. of Saturday. And so I could get at least one of every habitat done. Then we were driving for the rest of Saturday, didn't get anything. 
And then Sunday, I was able to play for a pretty significant portion of the day. But I will say, well, first of all, it was ridiculously hot on Saturday. It was so hot. I was like, I needed to take a, I was walking around a local college where near my apartment and I had to take a break, go home, collect myself, drink a bunch of water, then go back out because it was so bad, which was fine because I ended up getting some shinies at the apartment. (laughs) Um, But I have to say, I wish they would do habitats, specific habitats on Saturday and Sunday. Yes. Where instead of habitats twice a day on Saturday and then like a free for all on Sunday, yeah. I wish they would do something like I, I like the concentrated mo- like segments of time for each. Set it of lets you focus on if there are specific shinies that you want really grinding for those shinies and just um, more of those things. Exactly. Those things will spawn. Exactly. And so I, I, that being said, I still got some great shinies on the second day, but I missed out on some shinies that I was really trying to grind for. And, um, so I wish they would do something like both have two hab- habitats twice a day on Saturday habitats for the first half of the day on Sunday. And then the last, um, six hours, um, Turn that into a free for all. Turn that into a free for all. That would be amazing. They, they won't. It. They won't do it. No. Niantic. <laughs> let's have a Niantic employee listen to our podcast and implement like that, please. No, they don't. Um, they were actually hiring a marketing person for like, and the pay was like, I don't know, like a hundred something to almost two hundred something thousand dollars a year. So like, I was like, thinking you're gonna apply. I was like, we're moving to <laughs> Seattle. Are you kidding me? Like. <laughs> Um, so anyways, um, and then of course the blessing and a, the curse of auto catchers, um, you know, auto catchers caught me a lot of shinies on GoFest and since and before, but they also lose you a lot of shinies and two of like they lost, it lost me three that I knew of during GoFest because I c- actively clicked on them and tried to catch them, but I couldn't because it, it just throws one and runs, right? Yeah. And it does, it's not a curve ball. It's a red ball straight. Um, so if it's any type of Pokemon that's hard to catch, that is n- higher CP, like it's not going to catch it. And so it missed me three that I clicked on. I don't remember what the third one was, but one was an NK and one was a Morlul. I've wanted a shiny Morlul for a long time because they're so cute. And the NK is good too. I didn't have one of those. So I was devastated. But anyways, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, okay, some people believe it as cheating but i don't look at it that way anymore because it's at least the one that i've been using lately and that most people use now is an officially like licensed niantic nintendo product Mm -hmm. um whereas like when i was using auto catchers before they put that out like maybe you could consider that cheating because it's like not licensed unofficial like but at the same time you were still able to connect it to the game so it was like if this is a feature that you can do it's not cheating in my mind. So, um, it's, it's a helping device. Um, I agree. Especially so I could do well with one of those because I have trouble like when we're out and about walking and playing at the same time, yeah. like actively keeping an eye on my phone to catch stuff while trying to maneuver and walk around the street. It's just, for me, it's a little bit much at times. So, yeah, exactly. So it's, it's just like a nice, um, addition to have. So it's like, I'd, I would, I would honestly partially call it an accessibility thing. Totally. Yeah. Um, I do wish they would release an update or, um, well, the reason why you can't turn the vibration off or the lights off is because I guarantee they're going to release a version two where you can, and that will also be $50 at this point. Um, of course that's what they would. And I will buy it because the reason why I, I, um, can't have it connected at work as much as I would like to is because it makes a lot of noise. Right. Even when you have it in like a case or something in your pocket while you're trying to do your work. I, it doesn't bother me as much. So as I know other people can hear it Mm. and I'm like, I don't really need like the two people that sit in my office with me to like constantly hear that going off. Or does it make a sound? It's so like the vibration is so strong. Like you can hear it. 
And if it's touching anything, like it's well, really. That's really what I was going to say, like get a pillow for it. But if even it's just, just in on the, its own, even yeah. just in the purse or like I did buy people were on Facebook where they're like, go to Dollar Tree and buy the headphone cases. Like it's perfect size for the, um, the, auto, the, I don't even know what it's called. The auto catcher. And it's, it, it is, it's about that size. It's, it's, um, the size of the uh, auto catcher and, um, fits right in there. Doesn't really do well to muffle the noise, it in my just opinion. Also vibrates, yes, because the thing is vibrating. Yep. Um, and you know, I partially bought. I, well, I bought when I bought that. I started playing Pokemon Sleep. I have not played Pokemon Sleep for months. It's one of those games where it's just like it was kind of a chore. Like I'd wake up and then I'd spend an extra like 15, 20 minutes trying to like play that game, and then it's like. Mm. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I can't I do that. With that. I, I so. need to. I need to be able to wake up, start my coffee, get right away, get <laughs> ready to go to work. Yeah, yeah. I do. I mean, I enjoyed finding shinies in that game too, but I wasn't finding shinies at the rates that I was in Pokemon Go, so it was pissing me off, and so I kind of stopped <laughs> because of that too. And I also said to myself, I said, I'm not spending any money on that game, and I did not spend any money on that game, thank God. But it was also it's. Um, really kind of bullshit to play as a free to play. They make it really oh, hard. Oh, um course. not hard, but it's boring if you're free to play. Yeah. So I um stop that, but it's okay because I love Pokemon Go. And continuing to speak about Pokemon Go, there's some news. If you go on your Pokemon Go app and you go into Pokemon and you click search and see more you will see some symbols that one has one question mark. Does your game have it? One has one question mark and one has three question marks. I haven't checked yet. And of oh course, goodness. and of course those symbols are for Gigantamax and Dynamax. Um, for those that are in the know of what the X's mean. I don't see them. So you might have you either might have to update your game or it's just not check the app store. That's my email. But anyways, like there's no obviously they haven't implemented it into right. the game yet. Um so there people are speculating that next season will be all about that. And I've heard people speculating about and we were literally just talking about this the other day. Finally add them. The fact that Gen 8 starters are not in the game. And I think they've been holding off because they're going to do a whole thing around Dynamax and Gigantamax, um, which came out for Gen 8, right? Yep. Um, Gen 8's gimmick. And then later on with the Isle of Armor DLC, we got the Gigantamax forms for the three starters. Mm -hmm. So that is also why I'm thinking, like, probably waiting yep. around for this to do it. Exactly. So... We, I, I, I don't know. I'm guessing that that is next season. Which when does this season end? Let's see. Um, this season ends in 25 days. Damn. Uh, so coming right up, which is probably why they put it in the game already. The logos. But people are also saying, you know, um, Zacian and Zamazenta will be back in raids, and they're hoping that they'll release shinies for them. Oh, I would love, I would love a shiny Zamazenta. And um, hopefully they'll just release more um, Galar Pokemon, too. Have you seen their shinies? I have seen one of the shinies because I have it. Oh, okay. For some reason. You got the, uh, so what, in your game? Yes. You probably got, uh, so... Which game do you have? I have Sword. You have a shiny Zamazenta? Yes. Yes, okay. So you got the GameStop code that they were yep. doing. Yeah. They were running a thing where if you had Pokemon Sword and you, you, I think you just, yeah. Well, I think you could just get a code for both, but. I codes, only had one. Codes for Sword only gave you a shiny Zamazenta. Codes for Shield only gave you a shiny Zashi. Mm -hmm. I had to do a whole thing with a buddy. Uh, well, not buddy anymore. Oh, but God. <laughs> was uh, in a group with friends and all that. Uh-huh. Um, but he was chill, got me a shiny, we basically swapped. Got yep, me a shiny yep. uh, Zamazenta, I got him a shiny Zacian. Um, I just think it's funny, shiny, shiny Zacian and Zamazenta are, Zamazenta is like purpley pink magenta, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Zamazenta, and then Zacian is like cyan, teal. Interesting. Zacian, cyan, yeah. Um, 
yeah, so, I mean, I don't have much more to talk about for that, but it's official, it's in the um, the game, and then they actually did take away, so um, people would data mine the game all the time, and they've actually put something in the TO, the new TOS against data mining. Really? Um, and so people will get banned for data mining, um, but people are still data mining. Well, so, <laughs> yeah, um, catch them all. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I, um, I'm looking forward to that. I think it'll be interesting to see how they implement that into Pokemon Go. I don't really know how they'll do that and have it be different than I Megas. I'll be interested in seeing Eternatus. Yeah. Yep. Eternatus and then how they're going to treat, oh, are they going to give us Eternamax Eternatus only in Pokemon Go? The but, final form it takes. Of yeah. Spoilers for Sword and Shield, very old game. <laughs> Not very old, but, you know, like, what, 2018? Yeah. Yeah. So, old enough. <laughs> old enough. Um, like the, the final boss raid battle kind of thing. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. I, I, I would laugh, laugh my ass off if they gave us Eternamax Eternatus as, like, a thing we can have, but only in Pokemon Go. <laughs> that would be... Um That'd be interesting, and I also wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean, lots of cool things looking forward to with Pokemon Go. I'm happy that there's a Team Rocket takeover event. I just spent some time this morning um, having a lot of my Shadow Pokemon um, unlearn frustration. Oh, are they still learn. doing that right now? Yeah, that's that's for cool. the next couple of days, so good to know. utilize that while you can. I got to do that on my, my Tyranitar. That's really good, but it still has frustration. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, most of mine, it's actually a good point. I should look that up. Um, I think I did get rid of that. No, no, I did not. So that's a good point. Um, I need to get on the rocket grunts a little bit more. I've been slacking, but I did get the, the, the five rocket grunts thing completed today. So that's good. <clears throat> for what was that for? Uh, the adventure week research or oh. no, 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 shared skies. I think it's shared skies. Um, yeah, shared skies. I finished that a bit ago because I, and I'm still on Catch Pokemon on 10 different days for that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, yep. Um, I've got two left on that. Yeah, me too. But I'm on level, I'm on the level 45 challenge where I need to defeat 100 grunts, defeat 50 leaders, and purify 100 shadow Pokemon. Hmm. So this yeah, is yeah. perfect timing for me because it's like, all right. Wait, purify 100 shiny or shadow Pokemon. Yep. I'm already at 42. I went through and I purified all my 1K Stardust because um, I keep all my shadows. Oh, right. You said that's level um, up. Yeah. I, I was keep, like, that's insane. For oh, me. no, no, no. Yeah, level okay. up. I keep all my shadows. And so I had plenty and I still have plenty to yep. purify them. But I don't purify anything. I, usually, yeah. Unless it's for um, this. And especially like with this... Uh, special research for Adventure Week taking over. I was uh, waiting to purify some. I'm just gearing myself up for it. There, it's probably going to end us on a, you know, find the leader, fight the leader, win versus yes. leader. Yes, and he, Giovanni has Shadow Cressilia, um for this one. Great. So. So excited. And I actually think I have some squirreled away. Like, let's see. I have, see, I know, I hate fighting leaders, so I had 10 rocket radars. Such and a pain. I know I'm down to four and I can't actually collect except for spe- uh, researches where I get a c- mysterious component. I can't collect more mysterious components because I have s- rocket radars in my mm-hmm. bag yep. that I've gotten from like special researches. Like I still have researches. Like two super radars and two regular. Yeah. And I, I also have two super rocket radars. So technically, you know, I could get three shadow Cresselias if I wanted to. There you go. I don't want three of them, <laughs> but if there ever is a Pokemon, a shadow uh, legendary that Giovanni has that I want more than one of, I've got, I've got plenty stashed away. Mm. So yep. Looking forward to that. Um, otherwise we were going to talk a little bit about legends ZA and, um, if there was any word on it, I don't think we'll just do this quickly because we're we're close to time here. Um, there's not really any like official news on Legend CA as far yeah, as I'm aware. Really gotten much um, of anything, which is honestly a good sign to me because it's I, like I okay, don't rush it. Let them cook. Please Let don't them rush cook. it. Yes, please, God. Um, but there have been leaks 
And um, we don't need to really discuss the leaks because I was reading through the articles and I was like, well, first of all, I sort of wish I hadn't because I'm one of the kind of people that I'm like, I hate spoilers. I, but, you know, it's it's a lot of information that's going to be released officially before the game comes out anyways. Like, yep. what are the starters and like stuff like that? Um, so who knows if it's real or not? But it's also like. If it is real, fuck you. <laughs> and if it isn't real, fuck you. <laughs> well, you'll have to send that my way. I might want to take a look. Um, for me with at least... Okay, so I have... I have thoughts on, like, spoilers and yep. things in general. Um, for the most part, when it comes to a lot of stuff, spoilers don't bug me mm -hmm. too much. Um, if there's, like, an anime that I'm looking forward to, something like that, you know, keep your mouth shut. I don't care if you yep. read the manga or whatever. It's like, just let me enjoy it. Um... But Pokemon games, I kind of pay very close attention when it comes to leaks and all that, mm -hmm. mostly just for new Pokemon, new forms, what are the starters. Um, I generally try to steer clear of anything regarding the story. Yep. Same here. But that's pretty much it. It's like, I like to know going in, or I'll try and keep myself in the dark some if I can uh, on some Pokemon. Yeah. Like. When I went into Isle of Armor and played for the first time and just organically found a Cubone in a cave without knowing ah! that, it was, that it came back, I was so happy. That's um, awesome. So, like, stuff like that is really, really great to yeah. have. But also, I just really love getting into the hype about the new Pokemon sure. and new forms and stuff coming up. So, I guess, well, then we'll briefly talk about the... Uh, leaked in air quotes starters oh i wasn't um, saying we need to talk about it on here we don't have to cover it on here let's do it i mean really quickly and then we'll we'll wrap it up because we're we're at time here in case it's real and you don't want to know spoiler alert we may be telling you the real starters for legend ca um so people some a recent leak has stated that snivy torchic and totodile are going to be the starters Interesting lineup. And Superior would be a grass dragon type. Of course. And then in parentheses, it says Royal. Blaziken would be a fire fairy type. In parentheses, it says Fairy Tail. And then for Alligator would be Water, water steel. steel. And then in parentheses, Night Monster. That's very interesting. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is very... I'm I just love that for alligator concept right there. So mm -hmm. I, I'm praying that's real. Mm -hmm. um, I have thought about this like starter trio in my head for the longest time of like, I want a dragon, a fairy and a steel type because I will, you know, a dragon, fairy and knight. Yep. Hey, um, you might be getting it, buddy. I hope. <laughs> I, I hope. Oh, please. Um, I mean, superior is just boring on mm -hmm. <laughs> Frankly, my personal opinion, superior boring. So like give it a dragon typing. Beautiful. Um, fi fire fairy for uh, for one that's a new type entirely. Yep. Very interesting for Blaziken. Yep, it is interesting for Blaziken. I don't know how I feel about it, and I also wouldn't. I don't know out of that what I would choose. I would have to see them. I think to make my decision. I mean, you know, which based on my reaction. Oh yeah, you'd get the, you'd take I, Totodile I, I, for I want sure. My my big night monster yep. for <laughs> alligator. Hell yeah. <laughs> Well, supposedly, so, you know, in RCS, there's fast travel. Op well, I guess fast travel is, the, they're saying, that's how they're calling it here. But, like, you know, the travel. braviary that you fly on, the oh, stantler oh, like that you ride on. Okay. Yeah, the mounts. Um, supposedly, for land, it would be a oh, I've seen this. regional mud bray with a new evolution fighting type. Um, an item searcher would be Mighty Yenna evolution pure dark semi bipedal um werewolf kind of vibe yeah maybe and then for swimming would be a love disc evolution which would be water fairy with a male and female form it's kind of like basculigon mola exists people this is true <laughs> it's the ugly version of love disc let's be real um climbing would be a go goat evolution which would be grass ice and flying would be a Noivern evolution flying dragon. And so... Noivern evolving? So it's, it's interesting. Some people... Um, 
felt that some people are saying it's fake because of some of the details. Mm. Um, it says one of the most skeptical details was Neuvern having an evolution, um, <laughs> which is what the, what we were just talking about. Neuvern evolving into a flying dragon type seemed extreme and unlikely. Yeah, um, just, my real only, I mean, all that just sounds kind of cool to me, except I just, I don't think Neuvern needs to evolve. It's already like... It's a pretty cool. It looks pretty complete to me. I mean, and depending on how you change it for a regional variant, sure. but still, like, yeah, I, I don't think. Well, no, because that just said just evolves. Right? Yeah, it didn't say it was a different variant. Um, nope, just evolution. Yeah, I. Yeah, the only one it said was a regional would be a mud bray. Man, um, <laughs> that sucks. I want that for alligator. I know, right? <laughs> um, and then so new f- that might be a true part of the leak. Who knows? Hmm. Um, That's fair. And also, this is a four chan leak. Yeah. So just in general, keep that in mind as you're listening to us. Um, Finally, there's this section says new forms and evolutions. Xerneas ultimate form fairy and um, Yvettel. I don't know how to say that ultimate form dark flying. Zygarde does not have a new form. Regional dragapult dragon water. Um, Mega chestnut grass seal. Mega Delphox fire psychic. Mega Greninja, Water Dark. Hey, what? And then a B Barrel Evolution, Normal Water Type. And finally, no new Evolution, no Mega Charizard Z, and no Mega Mewtwo Z. So I feel like those last three just had to be like, okay, obligatory. Charizard is not getting yeah. <laughs> Charizard is not getting too much again. Mewtwo's not getting too much again. Yeah. EV is continuing to be ignored. Somebody was saying that they would probably do a new evolution in a new mainline series yes. game, which if makes sense. If they're going to do a new also, evolution at this come point, on, it's got to be in new mainlines. Yeah, sucks. Um, but it is funny that this was the last time, like Kalos Sixth Gen, was the last time we got a new evolution. That is true. So may- hey, maybe maybe we'll get something maybe. for EV. Um, so keep in mind, four chan leak probably take it with a grain of salt. Some might be true. Some might be f- false. Some but all of it might be true. All of them might be false. Definitely fun to speculate and talk about. Totally. I, I mean, I'm so excited. I want that night monster for. I alligator. hope that we didn't get your hopes up for nothing because that would be terrible. Uh, um, I'm hoping that the the starters are at least. Like the thing because that seems yes. pretty likely, honestly. That would be really, really cool. Um, and the only other thing that's like besides the Neuvern thing is like, why for the Megas only change Chestnut? Because, like, yeah. it's not the fact of having Megas because we already know for a fact they're bringing them back, they teach right. that. Um, but only change, I mean, I like Grass Steel for Chestnut thematically mm-hmm. uh, with the spiky shield and all that, but I yep. just think like, just leave them, uh, Grass fighting. Right. Yeah, it's if interesting. Leave, if you're going to leave the other two, just leave it. doesn't make any sense. So that's, it, there's little things like that where it's like, okay, like, how true is this? Like, yeah. come on. But I, anyways, I'm very excited. I do hope they hold off until 2025 um, and give us a really good game. I mean, at this point, it's already August, so. People are rumoring early 2025, and I hope those murmurings are incorrect. <laughs> as long as it's a good game, yes. man, that's all I care about. So. I just want them to take their time with Fingers it. Fingers crossed. Like Chris said, let them cook yes. and cook cook me up a delicious <laughs> open world game, please. Something nice. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's about it for our, our yap sesh today. Um, we're going to go on a small hiatus here as I'm on vacation and then we'll... We're hoping much smaller than it has been. Yes, we'll come together when I'm back and figure out a time um, because our next episode, which was supposed to actually be this episode, is going to be another movie review. Um, I did not have time to watch the movie, so we had to have a yap session instead, but we're going to go down the line here and our next movie that we're going to watch is... Pokemon 2000. And that's because um... It's just the second movie, Chronological Order. Um, we were g- talking about the third movie because it had an anniversary recently, mm-hmm. but we just... It made more sense to go down the line. Yeah. Um, Chris really, really likes Pokemon 2000. Yep. This movie was, like, forefront of my childhood in terms of just Pokemon movies. This was my main mm-hmm. one. I had it on DVD. Like, like, one of those older DVD cases, it's not like the just, it pulls open... Like that. I don't know. Yep. If you, I don't know if you would have ever seen them, but it's like 
it's almost just like this cardboard thing that you have the plastic that you open out to the side and then you flip it open. Oh, I don't know if I ever saw DVD cases yeah, like it's, that. It's really weird. Huh. Um, yeah, that and then that DVD was on repeat for like yep. years. <laughs> years. For me, ago. it was the first movie and then the third movie. So I'm looking forward to reviewing that one as well. But I mean, of course, I've seen the second one. I just don't remember it as well as the other ones. Yeah. So I'm also looking forward to this movie review. Stay tuned. Um, we really enjoyed doing our first movie review for you guys. And so... Mm-hmm. Looking forward to this one. And then at some point, we're going to do a group movie review with some other staff members and friends of Detective Pikachu when we get (laughs) when we get that coordinated. (laughs) That is schedules. That is whole setup. That is time. Yep. So that's a little bit further down the road. But stay tuned. Look forward to our next episode, movie review, Pokemon 2000. And um, this is great. I'm inspired to play Pokemon Unite. I'm inspired to go play Pokemon Sword and Shield again. I am looking forward to continuing Adventure Week and hopefully getting a shiny Kabuto. And, oh, man, there's so many good shinies out this week. Personally, hoping uh, shiny Aerodactyl would be nice. Mm. Also would like a shiny Kabuto. Yep. I think that's kind of about it that I'm hoping for. I don't, are are Amora, are Amora and Tyrant still spawning in the wild at all? Super, 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 super low wild spawn rates. Well, I've seen two Tyrants in if the there's wild. Any chance of it, shiny Tyrant, of course, would love that. Yeah. But I'm trying for you, Chris. I promise. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, anyways, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate you. Uh, leave us a comment down below if you um, anything we said resonated with you, and we will catch you next time. <laughs>